guys, this is Rose from Couture Cakes by Rose. Today we are going to make some ruffled flowers and I have three variations right here. Um, I have one right here that's layered. I have one that's just single and I have one that looks like a ruffled rose. And I decided to make this tutorial because a lot of you guys are asking how I made those ruffle flowers that was in my filigree in pink and black cake. So we're going to set this aside and uh, we're just going to start working. So we need some flower formers. We also need our fluted or frilled round cutter. And in this case, we're going to use the 48 and the 38 millimeter in diameter. We're also going to need a smaller round plane cutter, and this one is about 20 millimeter in diameter. We're gonna need our small palette knife, our cone tool, and of course our small rolling pin. We're also going to need a brush and edible glue. And of course, pearls, or in this case, I use this. I know this is illegal in some states. So I will highly advocate that you guys use the edible pearls. So to get us started, of course, we need our fondant in your chosen color. And we're going to roll out on our fondant to three millimeter thickness. Now I've rolled our fondant out to about three millimeter thickness and we're going to make our layered ruffled flower first. So we're going to cut a disc of 48 millimeter. And we're also going to cut another disc of 38 millimeter. Now, the reason why I always say to roll out your fondant to about three to four millimeter is because how thick your fondant is will determine how roughly your ruffle will look like. So just for this demonstration, I've rolled out our fondant to about one millimeter thickness. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna cut a disc. And I'm gonna show you guys the comparison. So we're gonna set this one aside for now. And let's do this one. Okay, so we're gonna take our cone tool and I always lay I always start frilling in the middle of our cut right there. And then I would move my cone tool side to side. See what I'm doing right here? Like I'm moving it side to side. And then, so I'm gonna frill. I'm gonna put it right there in the middle first and I'm gonna just press down slightly and then I'm gonna move it side to side. There you go. Now, as you notice, you can see right there, there's those areas that haven't been frilled. Now I'm gonna lay my cone tool right here. And I'm gonna move it sideways again. There you go. And then the same way on the other side. So that I'll end up with this. So I'm gonna do this on all these indented areas until I get back to where I started. Now, see how your ruffles are stop starting to come together. I finished frilling the bottom layer of our first ruffled flower, so I went ahead and moved to frilling the second layer and I'm on my last one right here so we're almost done and we'll be able to put this together. 
There you go. Now, we're going to take our flower former and we're just going to put our bigger ruffle right there in the middle. And what I like to do instead of picking up another extra tool, I just like to use the tool that I already have on my work surface to arrange my ruffles. That way I don't have a lot of clutter laying around. Now, before we put this together, I want to show you guys the difference when you roll out your fondant to three to four millimeter thickness compared to just one millimeter thickness. So we're gonna frill this and I'm going to show you guys the difference. So I'm doing the same frilling technique that I showed you guys Now, here's the comparison. This is the one that was rolled out to about three millimeter thickness, and this is the one that was rolled out to one millimeter thickness. See the difference? This ruffle flower right here is fuller, and your ruffles are just a lot fuller compared to this one, and it is a lot prettier. Now we're going to apply a little bit of edible glue right there in the middle. And we're going to just press our second layer right there. And then we're going to apply some more edible glue right here. Just a little bit, not too much. And then we're going to finish that off with our pearls. In this case, I'm using my gold scratchies. So I'm using an 8 millimeter for the middle portion and then for the ones around it, I'm going to use the 4 millimeter ones. And all I'm doing is just putting them all around that big pearl right there. We're almost done. We, we need just one more. Now you can certainly do this with a tweezer. I prefer to do it by hand sometimes just because I feel like I drop it more using, when I'm using a tweezer. So this is the one that we made on this tutorial and this is the one that I made earlier. Now for this one, all that is, is a 38 millimeter disc that we cut using our 38 millimeter frilled or fluted round cutter. And we're just gonna put that in the middle of our flower former. And the same thing that we did earlier for this one, we will apply some edible glue right here, and then we're going to apply our pearls around it, just like we did on this one earlier. Now, for this one, I have two disc, for fondant disc right here. I have one, that was cut using our 48 millimeter and I have one that was cut using the 38 millimeter. So we're gonna do the 38 millimeter disc first and we're again going to frill that using the frilling technique that I showed you guys earlier. And we're going to frill this all the way around. And remember, this fondant disc was rolled out to about three millimeter thickness. Now, as you are frilling it, every time you roll side to side your bone tool, you're actually pushing the fondant, the fondant to the side, creating the frilled effect. 
right there. So you're pushing it to the side, you're thinning it out. therefore creating that frilled effect. And this is really easy. There you go. Now, that is the one that's going to serve as the bottom area. Now, we're gonna start frilling this 48 millimeter disc, and then I'll come back and show you guys what we have to do. Now, our 48 millimeter fondant disc has been frilled all around and I have my 20 millimeter in diameter plain round cutter and I'm going to cut out that middle portion that wasn't frilled. And this is what we're going to be left with. So again, instead of picking up another tool, I'm just going to use the tool that I already have on my work surface. And in this case, I have my small pally knife. And this is what I'm going to use to just cut a little opening right there. Now, I'm going to take this one end right there, and I'm just going to roll that like so. There you go. And I'm going to keep rolling this until I get to the end and while I'm rolling it I'm going to make sure that the bottom are all in this same height right there okay so just keep rolling There you go, that's what it's gonna look like at the top and this is what it's going to look like at the bottom. Now, we're gonna take the smaller ruffled flower that we made earlier. And in this case, I need something that will hold it in shape that will be, allow me to push it a little deeper. And I just have, I'm gonna use the round cutter that we used earlier. Sorry, I have already applied some edible glue in there, so that's quite sticky. So then I'm going to pick this up, and I'm just going to drop that in the middle. Remember, I already applied some edible glue on our bottom ruffled flower. So then, after that, I'm going to arrange my ruffle. Now, when you arrange your ruffles, you can take a minute two minutes, sometimes I'll take five minutes, I'll arrange it and then I'll be like, oh, that looks okay, and then I'll stand back and then I'll be like, huh, ah, it needs more feeling or it needs more arranging and then I'll come back and do it again. So that's our end product and this is the one that we made earlier. So you can just keep arranging your ruffle, you can use your pale knife to kind of push the edge of your ruffle down. You can even push this up. See, I'm already throwing it all over the place and we're not even done yet. You can even push this up to kind of just give you a tight looking ruffled flower. And that's how easy it is. So thank you guys for following me. Thank you for all the support. This is Rose again from Couture Cakes by Rose. I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial today. See you all later. Bye-bye.